Hello, hi friends. I am very happy to start integration chapter because of everybody asking us when we start integration. We are waiting, we are waiting. So sorry for your uh, waiting because of the of course, I am making videos now on Max 1A, 1B, 2B classes. That's why some delay is there. Okay, so this chapter integration consists to very number of more, more number of marks like circles in the second year Max 2B. It consists of two two marks questions and two seven marks questions, completely 18 marks. And uh, this is very, very most important chapter. So don't mind. Uh, of leaving this chapter, 100 percent we should study this chapter because of in your higher studies, this is very very helpful. This integration in BTEC level or degree level, wherever you go, these are must. So, if you know the differentiation, this is very easy. If you know the differentiation formulas, you can write the integration formulas. See. I just write the differentiation formulas, but I do not write integration formulas. I just write the derivation formulas, but I do not write integration formula. Why? You can write the formulas. Just I will give you. Okay. Just small technique. That's it. Already you know differentiation formulas. Yes. If you don't know differentiation formulas, also no problem. I just I have written here. You can remember by seeing immediately. Because of many times we had to remember this formula. Okay, so the small two definition, uh, definitions are there. So no need importance of these definitions. But, but C once antiderivation means differentiation. That is nothing but that is derivation of some function is another function. Okay, see derivation of d by dx of exponent form over n into exponent x. Yeah, so derivation of exponent is n into exponent x with respect to x. Similarly, derivation of means d by dx of a power x is what a power x into log a. Okay. Derivation of e power x, a power x. Derivation of log x is what 1 by x. Derivation of constant of what 0. Now, derivation formulas are there. So, same derivation formula by using we can write the integration. That acts. So, tell me how. So, very simple. The integration of this term becomes derivation. So, integration of 0 becomes constant. That's it, very simple. Derivation of log x is 1 by x. Now, there will be 1 by x integration. So, we need as integration. This is the integration symbol. So, integration of this 1 by x becomes what? Log x. So, integration of 1 by x is log x. In this integration, additionally plus c we should write for each and every formula. So, uh, now derivation of e power x is e power x. Now, integration of e power x becomes what? Yes, very good. e power x. Can you say for next formula? These two, just think a power x derivation, a power x is to log a. But in the our textbook, they will not ask what is the integration of a power x. They just ask what is the integration of a power x. Actually, this is the constant, am I right? So, it is uh, with respect to x. So, it is in terms of x, it is in terms of x. It does not consist of x terms. So, it is constant data. So, integration of a power x means this constant semi x, right? It is in multiplication. So, goes to denominator. So, integration of a power x means what? a power x by log a. Very good. So, a power x by log a. And uh, plus c. Okay, next only these two. Otherwise, you just remember integration of x for x is a for x by log. Next, derivation of x for n is n into x for n. We want x for n dx, x for n derivation. But we have only x for n minus 1 derivation. Sorry, x for n minus 1 integration becomes what? x for n by n. See, using the formula, you can write x for n minus 1 dx integration. X for n minus one integration can be written as x for n by n. X for n by n. But what I want x for n no one. So just increase one means plus one increase. Then we also get plus one increase. So it becomes n no by cancelling. 
we get a x4 and plus 1 by x and plus c i okay so uh, we don't have this too much explanation we can blindly remember this just remember only two are in that way. so for remaining what is derivation of sin x cos x okay what is derivation of cos x minus sin x derivation of tan x secant square x derivation of cot x minus cos square x derivation of sec x sec x into tan x derivation of cos x minus cos x into cot x okay in first year also i have explained very clearly and i have told how to remember the formulas plus minus plus minus plus minus okay right order like plus minus plus minus plus minus okay remember this formula now tell me integrations very very simple if you know the definition integration of cos x dx let me cos x integration just write down what is there sin x that's it sin x plus c right down that's it now i want the integration of this sin x okay this is minus is there so because minus cos x minus cos x plus c now second square x is integration yes tan x plus c similarly write down next minus cos x square x integration minus cot x plus c okay second x plus c minus cos second x plus c that's it very simple formulas next to another six formulas same as well what are the other six sin hx formula cos hx formula tan hx here yeah? to all one derivation of sin hx what derivation of cos hx what derivation of tan hx what derivation of cot hx what derivation of sin hx what derivation of cosec hx what so very simple the same formulas but here first three are positive in the formulas next three are negatives okay tan hx cos hx same formulas h means h only sin hx tan is secant hx square x cot hx means ah uh, these three are negatives minus cos hx square x minus secant sorry secant hx minus secant hx into tan hx and the cos hx hx is minus cos hx hx into cot hx is it right okay so formula is related to one to another so that's why in our mathematics first you learn perfectly what is in the beginning then learn how to learn the next concept using the first concept so this is like a a flow okay that's why i start from the beginning and go on so in that way you can do very easily mathematics directly by having formulas also okay but comparing one formula to another formula comparing this concept just uh, one concept only alternative positive negative positive negative but here first we are positive next we are negative that's it. okay so then how to write integration integration of cos x x dx you can write sin x integration of sin x x dx cos x integration of sec x square x tan x integration of cos x square x minus cot x integration of sec x into tan x second x integration of cos x into cot x minus cos x so these are the some formulas and more we have what is derivation of sin inverse x cos inverse x tan inverse x okay so and so are there and also what is uh, derivation of sin h inverse cos h inverse and what are the integrals okay i think you understand if you know the definition of this you can write uh, your integrations and the more or less what is derivation of uh, f of x plus g of x what is derivation of f of x into g of x 
and what is the integration of f of x into g of x so that is a very most useful formula you can learn in the next part and some two marks problems also i will explain in the next part okay so here formulas are very useful and some trigonometric formulas also helpful in this topic what is sin theta formula what is cos theta formula huh? and of course don't bother about so we learned in the first year we forgot those formulas no problem again i will tell you the trigonometric formulas what are the useful formulas in this second year integration not only useful formulas uh, i will tell you again that uh, concept what i taught in first year you understand or not you listen or not don't bother about that again i will tell you in a simple way how to remember trigonometric formulas also few formulas i will explain here in the next part and uh, we can start two mass questions very easily okay our uh, way of uh, learning is quite different uh, with the uh, textbook you can see the textbook later after visiting our classes you can solve it. but in intermediate already you know what is the way of getting marks how to learn intermediate subjects yeah so thank you for watching our classes if you are really new students please subscribe if you do not subscribe subscribe that's it i want that only help only because of if you subscribe and if you share with other friends and uh, if i get more likes and uh, more comments more time hours watching if you are then definitely i will make the videos and i will be encouraged by watching you so thank you watching our classes the next year derivation of sin and cosec sum was we can learn in the next part okay thank you okay friends okay actually only few formulas are there why do not leave uh, let you just see the formulas derivation of sin and cosec one by root of one minus x square so derivation of cos inverse x minus one by root of one minus x square so these two same formulas one is plus one is minus similarly plus to plus to minus plus to minus same formulas so that's why integration of root one minus x square means we can write the sin inverse x or minus cos inverse x so so which formula you solve means uh, that is depend on uh, our solution but any formula you can use there is no problem but give priority for first formula similarly tell me for what next formula that's very good tan inverse x plus c or you can write minus cot inverse x plus c this one or this one use but most of you use this formula so this is very most useful formula most of you it is repeated in the uh, problem solving sin inverse x formula also very useful and uh, here also sin x inverse formula cos x inverse tan so very useful and similarly what do you get like sin inverse x plus c or minus cos inverse x plus and similarly write the formulas here only tan both are okay 1 by 1 minus x square minus 1 by 1 minus means integration 1 by 1 minus x square means either tan tan h inverse x plus c or cot h inverse x plus but remaining sin for this uh, sin h inverse x plus c for this cos h inverse x plus c for this second h inverse x plus c for this cosecant h inverse x plus so and uh, and one more formula integration of f of x plus g of x means we can split uh, separately integration of f of x dx plus integration of g of x dx and the last one is integration of some constant dt f of x becomes constant into integration of f of x dx okay then so these are very helpful formulas to solve integration chapter 
and uh, some other formulas also there that means uh, just now I have told you root uh, division of f of x into g of x I will tell you in that before going to the concept but listen this and uh, learn these formulas ok so completely these are very helpful formulas see the next thing thank you